Hey everybody, this is Captain Sambar back. Well, I'm still dealing with the beadboard, but anyway, I want to explain something. When you're putting pieces of this beadboard in, you don't want to make it so tight that your, your measurements might be off a little bit. So you need to make sure is the distance even all the way from one end to the other end. And most builders were never square with much of anything, so you can't check. In this case, it was pretty close. But you don't want to, I got to put some trim underneath here. So you do not want to make it so long that it's going beyond the edge. So you want to cut it a little bit short. Give yourself some space. That's what trim is for. Trim is great. It'll cover all the mistakes, providing you don't make too big of a mistake. You're allowed a little bit. If you make it too short, it's going to show. So then you got to cut another whole piece and go back to Home Depot and get another whole 4x8 sheet. And they ask you at the counter, what, you need another piece, huh? Uh, yeah, I, I didn't measure right. And they all kind of look and kind of grin and go, yeah, we've been there before. Anyway, all right. I want to find out how much of a piece I need to cut for this wall right here. I got to go from the bottom up to the top to cover all these. Look like a, look like a bomb hit that wall. Anyway, so what I want to do is I want to put it up against the wall here. And pull it nice and easy, going all the way up. Kind of hard, these things want to move around on you. And get it right just below, because I need to give a little bit of space, like I said before. Now, this is the tricky part. The tricky part is to lift this up really easy and not allow the tape to move. Because they got brakes on these things, on the, on the reel, and they don't break so good. So it might move a little bit and you'll think, oh, I need 82 and a half and you really need 84 and a half or something like that. So let me do this for you. I'm going to pick it up and dangerously, very easy, easily pick it up. And it says it's, it says it's 81 inches. Now, see the side here? The side has a little measurement. Somewhere along here, it's usually written real small, so you have to get a microscope out. But anyway, you take the original measurement here, and you add whatever it says here. In this particular case, it's two and three quarters. Now, like I said, if for some reason the tape measure slips, it's going to mess you up. So, what I want you to do is measure a couple times. Make sure that you get the same measurement each time. And it's okay. No one's going to yell at you for measuring it two or three times. Unless your little kid shows up and asks you, Daddy, why are you measuring it three or four times? And just tell them to go away and leave you alone. All right? Anyway, we're going to go outside now that I have my measurements. And oh, by the way, make sure you write the measurements down, okay? This is what I need for this particular piece. Now, why do I say that? Well, you're going to go outside and you're going to go... Was that 11 and a half? Or was that 11 three quarters? And so you're gonna cut the piece, come in here and go, oh man, it's too short. Oh, it's too long. So write it down, take it out there with you. Once you cut it, you can throw it away or if you want it, you can eat it, okay? All right, we're gonna go outside and do some cutting the beadboard. See you there.